So the rematch in the Big 12 title game in the first pitch from Ridings with 65 runs batted in. And this one is whacked deep to right. Has a chance on the track. What a catch by Philip Sykes. Just missed down. Lead off walk for Brown. They would like to win this and make no doubt about it. Here's the throw coming down from Hewitt. It's not in time. Stolen base for Porter Brown. One and two to Humphreys. Called strike three. Here comes the two one from Martin. Runner going and another throw from Hewitt. And again, Brown swipes a base. 3-1 to Taylor. That's down and in Lockton. Runners at the corners and the cleanup man, Hunter Wolf. And he misses again. Runner goes and he's safe. Second and third. One out. Called strike three. Hunter Wolf. Two runner jam in the first. 3-2 pitch. Struck him out. They're so happy to have him back. Here's the pitch. 2-2. Two, two. And that's going to bound over Shepard at first base into right field. So he hits one almost into the parking garage. This lineup is remarkable. There's a base hit up the middle. Holding at second is Cabinets. And we've got second and third. Two outs for the Pokes. Hit on the ground. Sacco has to hurry, but he gets Brown for the third out of the inning. The rematch later in the day, 17 to 7. Backhanded by Matt Goldett short. The throw gets away from first baseman Jake Thompson. And Sykes is aboard. And Clay, as much as the injuries piled up, they never caved. He would. He is being tested in this game by the TCU runners. Focus on making pitches. 3-2 in the dirt. Walked him. That is the third walk. Runners going. Swing and a miss. Out at the plate. And two more stolen bases for TCU. That almost hit him. It did hit him. Back up the middle. Base hit. One runner's in. Two runs will score. And it's 2 nothing. Frogs as Porter Brown has his eighth hit of the championship. Clay, and how about the adjustment within the at-bat? Porter Brown had swung through two fastballs, and you started to wonder, is Martin Stuff overwhelming him? He gets another fastball right here, and he's on time. Great adjustment. Middle of the field is your friend with runners in scoring position. And First and second, one out. The 0-1 pitch, bounding ball, back up the middle. To second for one. To first, double play. How about that? Seifert. Two runs. In the second inning. So they strand two more. Here's a ground ball. Matt Golda is going to be aboard as Bray Rogers, usually very sure handed, do nothing in the championship game. 2 1 pitch. That rides in. It hit him. Runner goes in the dirt. Walked him. So now the base is loaded. Chopper back up the middle. Kicked into the outfield. Sacco can't handle it. One run is in. Two runs will score. And we're tied up. Clay, what an incredible job by Carson McCusker. He gets beat by two breaking balls, gets into two strike mode right here, and just puts a fastball in play. And you can see for Sacco, the strength of McCusker and the fact that it's coming off a fastball, you know, that ball just eats him up. It was... 
Lifted to left center. High and deep. Long run. Boyers watching it go. Home run. Cade Cavanis. His eighth home run of the year. And just like that, it's five to two. Cabinets, an Oklahoma kid, fifth year senior. This program has invested a lot in him and vice versa. And I'm just telling you, you want to know strength. You just, you can't get a ball out of this park to that part of it. That is extremely deep. 415. 3 2 here to Taylor. Reached on a walk his first time up, and he'll do it again. 2 1 is hit high and deep to left. Phillip Sykes. Goodbye, home run. A two-run shot, and the Frogs are back within a run. What a year he's having. He has had a heck of a year. And again, Clay, you're at this point in the tournament, you better have packed your offense. You get deep into these pitching staffs. Looks like a breaking ball, or I should say a changeup that just hangs up there. And Sykes absolutely leans on that pitch right there. He knew it. Walked him. A two out walk. Payoff. Called strike three on the outside corner. Ground ball, and that's through into left field for a base hit. Line drive, right field, base hit. Rounding second, heading for third is Boyers. He will hold there. Runners at the corners as Humphreys has his first hit of the night for TCU. As Taylor swings at the first pitch. Deep left center field, tracked down by Trenkel. Tagging from third is Boyers. He will score easily. And we're tied up at five. Before you go to your bullpen. Walked him. Game of the tournament. Hit on a line by Gray Rogers. And coming on is Cavanis. Maybe the best outfielder in college baseball. Yep. Popped up. Catcher, Humphreys, gonna make the catch. Sykes leading it off for TCU, and he's gonna send one into center for a base hit. Lands in front of Trenkel. And again, the leadoff man is on for the Frogs. He's he, it, just, there's every aspect of the program he's got a skill level for. Line drive to left. And that's down in front of McCusker. Moziello is going to hold the runner at third, so Sykes will put on the brakes. Base is loaded. Another pitch from Bowman. Brown to the gap in left center, and it's going to run all the way to the wall. One run is in. Two runs will score. Boyers comes home. A bases clearing double for Porter Brown. He does it again. Clay, I don't know who the player of this tournament's going to be, but I know Porter Brown's going to have something to say about it. It, it, it. You nailed it. it. I mean, talk about a good at bat. Was in absolute battle mode, just trying to survive the at bat for parts of it, and finds his way to an elevated fastball right there. Third reliever of the night for the Cowboys, and he misses down, and Humphreys is aboard. That's big news. Walked him, now base is loaded, and they may need... Got to be careful to Hunter Wolf. Swung on to right field and deep. Cavanis tracking back, makes the catch. Tagging and coming home is Brown with the ninth run of the night for TCU. And Wolf 
with a sacrifice fly. Full of strikeouts, but he lined out to right. His last time up, another one to the backstop. Play at the plate, not in time. Humphrey scores, and it's 10-5. to 3-2 to Sykes, struck him out. And Cable will get that. He shows a reliance on RPI. And Baylor's got the fifth best RPI in this league. Trenko going deep, and he's gone. Home run. We were just talking about his night, three strikeouts. But he leads off the seventh with a solo shot to give Oklahoma State a little life. Yeah, it just feels like offense is going to have to win the day. And, and again, don't be fooled by Trinkle's size and, and you're thinking he's kind of a run first center fielder. Boy, that's some real power right there. Good work in this game. And this is going to roll into left field for Hewitt. Struck him out. Now Savage. Awesome, awesome venue. Just a gorgeous triple-A park. Oh, boy. He's going opposite field again, and he nearly left the yard for the second time. Cabanus will settle for a double here in the eighth. The opposite field power for Cabanus. That's fair. And that's a run for Oklahoma State. I think TCU was caught a little off guard. Maybe thought that was a foul ball. After striking out his first three times. Ground ball. Should be an out. Well done by Halen Green to whirl around and flip to first. The NCAA selection show, Matt Schick, Kyle Peterson, and the beloved Mike Rooney. Out to right. Look at Cabinets covering ground. That guy is outstanding. Absolutely terrific. Out. Ground ball hit hard into right field, base hit. And Oklahoma State's in business here in the ninth with one down. Cabanus. Cold strike three, it's over. The Frogs win it. Big 12 tournament champions for 2021.